Right, this video is going to be for those of you who are constantly playing the blame game. If you're fed up of making excuses for why you haven't made something of your life yet and you know deep down that it has nothing to do with love and is instead down to your own lack of dedication and incompetence, then I very much suggest you watch this video, bro. This video is going to pack a ton of value and it will hopefully open your eyes to understand that luck doesn't exist, bro, at least not in the way that you think it does. For you to make something of yourself in this life, you need to understand why it's time Time to break free from these bullshit chains of luck that unfulfilled people adhere to. I'm telling you, luck is not the thing that is holding you back mate, and it's not hard work either. A few months ago I was speaking to a close friend of mine that I've known since school, who has been trapped in this cycle of blaming bad genetics and luck for his skinny body for his entire life. It got to the point where it was almost as if he'd convinced himself that he was genetically incapable of putting on muscle mass. I would hear him constantly moan and complain and saying things like, it's just bad luck, Myron. I have terrible genetics. I can't put on muscle size. I can't bulk. It's not possible for me. Now, as someone who has personally experienced a decent transformation with regards to going to the gym and putting on muscle size. I knew that these claims by him have been nothing other than excuses and bullshit. And I've tried explaining this to him countless times over the years. I've literally given him a shit ton of bro science behind why he's wrong, right? Yet he stubbornly chooses to not let go of these beliefs and he was completely unwilling to accept any other explanation for his troubles. Not only did he blame luck and his bad genetics, but he also claimed that he tried everything in his power to make progress. He told me that he tried sticking to a proper diet and that he trained regularly. Now, without being rude to him, I knew that this was bullshit. He might have thought he'd done the right things, but clearly he hadn't, at least not for long enough, because it was quite evident that his attempts were not only completely inconsistent, but that they lacked the necessary dedication it requires to reach the goal that he wanted. This is a classic sign of why and how somebody's limiting beliefs can hold them back. If he kept these beliefs forever, then he would never make any progress whatsoever because he would constantly just think, what's the point? Anyway, one day, I can't lie, I reached my breaking point. I couldn't stand his constant negativity any longer and I decided that it was time to shake him out of this bullshit mindset. So basically, I decided to have a very stern conversation with him, explaining it to him why he was wrong. I was determined to make him see the truth and see why blaming his bad luck and his bad genetics was preventing him from making any progress. Now, I can't lie, I might have been quite harsh during it, but honestly, I think that it's exactly what he needed to hear. I shared my own journey. I talked about the challenges I faced. I talked about the doubts that I had. I told him the insecurities, the struggles, all of that stuff. And to my amazement, I actually started to see his face change and I could feel that he was actually starting to sense what I was trying to drill into him. Now, this was incredible to me because I honestly thought he was never gonna get out of this shitty mindset. This shitty mindset that he's had for his entire life. This is like 10 years plus thinking this over and over again. But I was wrong because my mate had a bit of an aha moment, which if you're not sure what it is, it's kind of like a moment where you have a sudden understanding of something that was previously very confusing. It's like a light bulb turning on in your head and everything all of a sudden making sense essentially. So literally all the pieces of the puzzle fell into place for him. He realized that whilst his genetics might require him to put in a little extra effort than other people, it didn't mean that he couldn't make any progress and he understood that accountability and consistency were the key to making gains in the gym. Now from that day forward and even to this day he's committed himself to all of the right things. He's followed a well-rounded routine, he's paid attention to his nutrition and has been tracking his macros and he's pushed himself way beyond what he 
initially thought was impossible for him. With just a small amount of guidance from me, and by removing his shitty beliefs, he started to see progress that he'd literally only dreamed of before. Yes, that means his muscles began to grow, and his body actually started to take on a bit of a new shape. He started getting wider shoulders, he started getting bigger biceps, bigger triceps, his chest started to fill out a little bit, and he was putting on some kg, he was gaining weight, gaining muscle mass. Obviously the change didn't happen overnight, but his progress was steady and it was visible. Now for me, his story is nothing more to the fact that blaming luck was nothing more than a cock block to his progress. Through his journey, my mate learned that success in building muscle wasn't solely determined by luck or genetics. It was a combination of determination, consistency and a refusal to let weak excuses hold him back. This shows us that whilst luck may play a small part in achieving big things, the real power lies within us to make a real difference to our future. If you take anything from this video, please make it be that it's never an option to blame what you don't yet have as bad luck or a lack of luck. Stop overestimating the role that luck has in successful people's lives and stop underestimating the role that skill has. In other words, the only way that you can actually get better at something and actually be truly successful at it is by being skilled. So if you have to blame your lack of success on something, blame it on having no skill. And how do you get skilled? You practice, bro. That's what a skill is. A skill is something that you can develop and get better at, meaning it is fully within your control. How do you think a top tier salesman sells as much as he does, mate? Is it luck? Was he born that way? Or did he develop his craft to become highly efficient and skilled at it? How do you think some YouTubers get so many subscribers? Is it because they were lucky? Or is it because they learned how to speak on camera properly and because they made thousands of videos to help develop that skill? Skill takes time and effort to improve and it is not the same as luck. I know that sounds obvious, but I say it because a lot of people, including younger Myron, used to put skill and luck in the same bracket. And that bracket is that these things are completely out of our control. And that's not true because being skilled is within our control and it comes from only one thing practice now you could argue that there are some elements of luck in life and in a book called the success equation by michael Maubassin, I've absolutely butchered that surname. Luck can be broken down into two types. There's systematic luck and then there's random luck. Random luck is the kind of luck that is completely unpredictable and cannot be influenced by skill or effort. This is the type of luck that we are not interested in. Systematic luck, on the other hand, is the type of luck that is influenced by things such as skill and effort. And this is the type of luck that we're interested in. If you've ever heard people say, you make your own luck, this is the type of luck they're talking about systematic. This means that you can increase your chances of success and fortune by focusing on becoming more skilled and receiving the systematic luck that comes along with that. So for example, a successful influencer who has a strong network of contacts is experiencing systematic luck because it gives them an advantage over other people who don't have those contacts. But the way that they got that systematic luck in the first place of having those contacts is by being active and posting content and socializing with other influencers and improving all of those skills every single day. Basically, systematic luck is just a consequence of somebody putting in hard work. And it is much better to do that than rely on random luck because we actually have control over systematic luck. So stop blaming your lack of random luck for your misfortune. Work consistently to improve your skills and create your own systematic luck. Believe you can and you're more than halfway there.